This table lists ASME Section 8 codes and API storage tank standards applicability based on pressure range. We will mainly discuss pressure applicability in this slide, whereas other features are discussed in the following slides. As we can see, we can segregate code application ranging from atmospheric pressure and up to very high pressure range. So first is API 650 storage tank standard, which specifically applies to storage tanks which operate at or near ambient conditions. Further, there is a provision in Appendix F of this standard to go up to a pressure of 2.5 psi. Then comes API 620 standard, which allows a slightly higher pressure than API 650 standard, and it ranges from 2.5 psi up to 15 psi gauge. API 620 standards are specifically used in refrigerated service and liquefied gas services. Then comes ASME Section 8 Division 1 and we can classify it as a low to medium pressure vessel code. And as mentioned, it ranges from 15 psi gauge to 3000 psi gauge. And then there are additional rules that applies for pressure range above 3000 psi gauge. Then we switch to Division 2 which is an alternate for division 1 code and it can be classified for medium to high pressure range. Usually people take it from 3000 to 10,000 psi gauge but as suggested by code itself that it can be applied from 15 psi gauge to 10,000 psi or even higher. For instance when cyclic loading is mentioned we have to use division 2 even in lower pressure range than 3000 psi. Like Currently, I am involved in two projects to replicate the design of two vessels with cyclic loading and higher thicknesses in the range of 30 to 40 bar gauge, that is 450 to 600 psi gauge. But as we go in lower pressure range than 3000 psi, gradually the cost benefits of Division 2 will gradually decrease in comparison to Division 1. And finally, Section 8, Division 3, which is recommended by code to be used as an alternate to Division 2 for very high pressures like 10,000 PSI and above. Here is a graphic presentation of the previous slide for pressure ranges of the BPVC Section 8 codes and API storage tank standards. So we start with API 650 tank which operates near atmosphere in the orange color region up to 2.5 psi and from 2.5 psi to 15 psi gauge we have api 620 standard in the red color and then above 15 psi gauge and up to 3000 psi in yellow color is mentioned division 1 as i said in the previous slide the division 1 can be used above 3000 psi with additional rules and code doesn't give any higher limits for it also, Division 1 vessels are often designed for vacuum service. So, yellow color is mentioned below atmospheric pressure line as well. And Division 2, as per code recommendation, can be applied in vacuum zone and then from 15 psi gauge to 10,000 psi. Again, code doesn't limit its higher range and it can be applied above 10,000 psi, although a good alternative in that range will be Section 8, Division 3. And finally, Section 8 Division 3 code, which can be classified as very high pressure range code. And it is recommended by code for pressures above 10,000 psi. But again, there is no stopping in using this code below 10,000 psi. But in that range, it starts to lose its cost benefits as compared to Division 2. In In this slide, I have given code extracts that mentioned these limits in reference to the previous slides. We start with division 1. It mentions 15 psi as the starting point and also the higher limit of 3000 psi is mentioned. For division 2 again, it mentions 15 psi as lower limit and similar to division 1, it doesn't limit its higher range. Although it mentions division 3 as an alternate to division 2 for pressures 10,000 psi and above. 
And in Division 3, it clearly states that 10,000 PSI is a recommendation and code doesn't limit the lower limit of Division 3 or the upper limits of Division 1 and Division 2. Now here we'll discuss other features and comparison of Section 8 codes. The first is year of publication. Division 1 was first published in 1925. The link is given for video on SB Section 8 Division 1 timeline. Division 2 was first published in 1968 and Division 3 in 1997. Pressure range we have already discussed in the previous three slides. So we'll go for design factor. So for Division 1, the design factor is 3.5. For Division 2, it is 3 for Class 1 and 2.4 for Class 2. And for Division 3, it is 1.8. And for details of design factor, see the link coming now on screen for my previous video on the subject. Then the type of analysis. Division 1 uses membrane assumptions that stress doesn't vary across shell thickness. Obviously, it is not a good assumption for thick vessels. Division 2 uses membrane plus bending and fatigue. And in addition, we have elastic plastic analysis as well. Whereas Division 3 uses sophisticated analysis such as elastic plastic analysis and fracture mechanics. Then based on stress theory, Division 1 is based on simplified Rankine theory which is easy to use and is conservative. For Division 2, it utilizes Tresca theory prior to 2007 but from 2007 onwards, it is using von Mises theory which is also called maximum distortion energy theory. Division 3 utilizes Tresca and von Mises both. Material tables are listed in section 2 part D for division 1 and 2 and in KM-1 for division 3. Joint efficiency is typically 0 0.4 to 0.45 to 1 for division 1 and for butt joint it is typically 0 0.7 to 1 and for division 2 it is 0 0.85 to 1 whereas division 3 utilizes a different approach. A certified engineer is required to review design data for Division 2 and 3 whereas Division 1 doesn't have any such requirement. And that engineer has to be certified as a professional engineer in the United States and Canada. Hydrotest pressure formula is given as 1.3 into MAWP multiplied by stress ratio for ASME Section 8 Division 1. And this stress ratio is the ratio of stresses between design condition and test condition. That factor for division 1 was previously 1.5 and it was reduced from 1.5 to current 1.3 from the year 1999. For division 2, it is 1.25 times the design pressure. For division 3, it is 1.25 into design pressure as lower limit and for upper limit, there is a separate formula. For material weight, it is just a general comparison and case to case basis may be different. But in general, Division 1 can be 15% higher in material weight as compared to Division 2. And similarly, Division 2 can be 15% higher in material weight as compared to Division 3. In this slide, the key features of API storage tank standards are listed and compared. It is important to note key differences in the title of the standards and the introduction of the standards given inside the code itself. So API 650 standard as given in the title itself is for welded tanks and for oil storage tanks. The keywords are welded and oil storage. So it cannot be applied for riveted or bolted type of construction. And it is primarily developed for petroleum industry, but I have seen it being used safely in other industries as well. So as per introduction, it can be applied for vertical, cylindrical and above ground storage tank. Notice here the keywords as it cannot be applied for any horizontal tank or for shape other than cylindrical. One thing to note is that it is not designed for vacuum service, but occasional incursion into slight vacuum service may be possible. As already discussed, it is suitable for atmospheric pressure up to 2.5 psi and also internal pressure should be equal to or lower than the weight of the roof plates. 
It is for tanks that have bottom with uniform support and for non-refrigerated services. In the main standard, maximum design temperature allowed is 93 degree C or 200 degree Fahrenheit. In Appendix F, a higher internal pressure of 18 kPa or 2.5 PSI is allowed for non-refrigerated service. In Appendix M, a higher temperature of 260 degree C is allowed but should not be used for open top tank, external floating roof types tank or internal floating roof with aluminium roof or composite material roof. Then we have API 620 storage tank standard for large welded low pressure and field assembled storage tanks. So it cannot be used for very small capacity tanks for any construction other than welded or for shop assembled tanks. Sometimes low pressure is mistakenly understood as vacuum that is below atmosphere whereas low pressure is called in comparison to its comparison with ASME section 8 division 1 pressure vessel code which is above 15 psi gauge and not in comparison with API 650 standard which is from atmosphere to 2.5 psi. Again it is for hydrocarbon fluids and other fluids in the hydrocarbon industry but can be applied elsewhere as well. Now the shape of the tank. In API 650 it has to be vertical and cylindrical whereas in API 620 standard many shapes are allowed with the provisor that its wall should be produced from rotation of a contour that have vertical axis of revolution. The main standard is for carbon steel material with maximum metal temperature of 250 degree Fahrenheit and maximum pressure in vapor space to be 15 psi gauge. Appendix S is for non-refrigerated service for stainless steel material with no temperature limits but only for grades 304, 316 and 317 for low carbon grades. Appendix R is low pressure tank for refrigeration service from minus 0.25 psi gauge to plus 7 psi gauge and plus 40 degree F to minus 60 degree F. Appendix Q is related to low pressure tank for liquefied gases from minus 0.25 psi gauge to plus 7 psi gauge and up to minus 325 degree Fahrenheit. Appendix S is for duplex stainless steel material for above ground and welded tanks up to minus 40 degree C for non-refrigerated service. And finally we have API 625 standard which is a recent standard by API to cover refrigerated liquefied gases storage tanks. It covers low pressure, above ground, vertical, cylindrical tanks above 800 meter cube or 5000 barrels of liquid. Minimum design temperature equal to minus 325 degree Fahrenheit. Maximum internal pressure allowable is 15 kPa or 7 psi gauge and maximum external pressure allowed is 1.75 kPa or 0.25 psi gauge. Containment can be of metal or concrete or for both. For metals, the design will be as per API 620 and its appendices R and Q. For concrete, as per ACI's 376.